Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about clear data table activity. First of all, we'll see the purpose of the clear data table. By using clear data table activity, we can clear all the data in the specified data table. Now, if you see on my screen, I have created a sequence that is clear data table. And you can see by using Excel application scope, I'm going to open student marks, which is having two sheets, that is sheet one and sheet two. How I am going to read that first activity by using read range, I am going to read sheet one. By using another activity, I am going to read the sheet two. Okay, now let me open this Excel. In the sheet one, I am having a different number of rows and different columns. In the sheet two also, I am having different number of rows and different types of columns that what we have. Now, but my agenda is that I have to use only single data table. I don't want to use multiple data table variables over here. Now, if you see the structure is different and the sheets are different. So how can I go ahead and use that? How I can clear the previous data before loading another data table from sheet two. Now, let me show that what I'm going to do. I'm going to use read range activity to read from the sheet one and I'm going to store the data in var data table, right? Now I'm going to read this entire data table and then I'm going to write it by using write range activity. I'm going to write into another Excel sheet that I can say sheet one, I will give it as output sheet. I will give it as output sheet. And what is the input for this? That is the output from the read range that is var data table, right? Now, once the writing has been completed, I want to use the same thing for another sheet also. How can I go ahead and do that? By using activity that is clear data table. You can see that data, uh, that activity under data table. Let's drag and drop after write range. Now we are having the properties, only one property that we have that is input. What is the data table? that input data table that we will give it as var data table. Okay. Now, once the read range has been completed for the sheet one, after writing the data table, I'm going to clear this var data table. And then I will go ahead and I will show you in the, the read range activity or directly what I will do. I will write one more time over here to make you understand very clear, but I'm going to show it as clear output data table. Okay, so what is the data we will commit after writing the read range, after clearing clear data table, what is the output that we will get it. Now let me go ahead, let me run the bot. Now if you see output sheet as well as clear output sheet, these two sheets has been created. This output sheet is before clearing the data table, you can see over here, the entire data. And after I'm going to use clear activity in the same data table, I don't have any kind of data over here. Okay. This is how you're going to use clear data table. Now, what I'm going to do now, let assume how can I see there's some other data also is coming into the bad data table. Now I will show you by taking another read range after clear, uh, you know, clear data table, I'm going to use reading into the sheet two, And you can see the output data table. I'm going to use the same data table and then I'm going to give it as output sheet two. Now let me go ahead. Let me run the bot once again. Now you can see over here in the output sheet one that I'm having some data in the output sheet two having different data, which we have in the sheet one that the same data in the output sheet sheet two, the same data we have in the output sheet two. Now what we have missed only the headers, right? While I'm going to use the right range, I have to add the headers for the both the things. Now, once again, let me go ahead. Let me run the bot. Now you can see the headers over here in the output sheet that you are having the headers and the output sheet too also that you are having the headers. So this is how we are going to use to clear the data table. If you want to use multiple times the same type of data table, if you want to use it, then you are going ahead. You are going to clear the data table, which we have. There is another uh, purpose also. Let's assume if I'm using across the flow, if I'm going to use the same data table, then you are going to do the clear data table and then only you are going to load the data by using clear data table activity. 
I hope you understand how to use the clear data activity in this session. Thank you for watching your past tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.